Happy New Year! Oh, look at that. We got snow. <laughs> I've been complaining about not getting snow here on uh, the Ohio farm, and what happens? I get snow. <laughs> I'll be darned. Now the roads aren't clear. I don't think I have a snow plow or anything. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that just threw a damper and everything or not. <laughs> I can't remember ever having snow on the ground here. Two points, not pretty. Oh my goodness, it's rolling away from me. There we go. <laughs> okay, you look in the upper right hand corner. You'll see we're in January. It's snowing. Uh, I slept in till 9 because it was New Year's Eve last night. So I was out kind of late. Um, let's see. I've always kind of disliked the fact that the snow wouldn't fill in around certain buildings and mods, but hey, they still do a pretty good job. Oh, let's see. There is a full pallet. Honey, no, there's not. Okay. I thought it was when I walked down, but it's not full one. All right. Let's just see what things look like over here. garden's completely covered. Garden shed. Good snow mask for that. Yeah. I love how the snow crunches underfoot. Of course, you can't hear it when I'm talking, right? Um, let's see. We continued selling silage. I emptied out the bunker silo. I think it was two more trailer loads that you didn't see and there was some left in the bucket of the wheel loader oh man so quick on the windshield wipers um, there's just a little left in the bucket on the wheel loader so we topped up the trailer, we put that in the trailer and then we topped it off by going under the stave silo and emptying that out. I think we still got about, like, about 150,000 left in there, which is quite a bit. I don't think we ever planned for snow removal on this map. We never really had any for any significant amount of time. I don't, I'm trying to remember if we ever had any on the, on the ground. We're going to come over to the west place. We're going to feed the cows. We'll go open the farm shop and sell some eggs. I guess that means we'll park the pickup over there. I should have thrown them in the back, huh?
Can't really tell, but I turned the light on. Can't really notice in the daytime. Okay, so we're gonna sell eggs and feed the chickens. And snow kind of put a damper on things a little bit. I don't know. Oh, good lord, I can't believe that. I was in messing around before I started recording, and I still had the units of measure wrong. Okay, you see, we got the bunker completely emptied. Oh, I need to move this a little bit, it got kind of pushed into the building. I think the cows could use with some food. They're probably all right, but I like to keep them filled up. There's room for some more straw bedding. Here's the cows. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Just over half on straw and yeah, same with food, I think. There's a lot of hay in there. How old are those calves now? Two months. Pretty soon. I need to put the herdsman stick on this uh, map and take them over. <laughs> okay, I was going to get those eggs. Oh, are we out of milk yet? I didn't even look at how much milk was over there. I guess we can just do runs one at a time with all the commodities. Take the butter over there first. So we'll run this butter over to the farm shop. I gotta be careful. The snow can be slickery. Six fourteen for a pallet of butter. Once the snow melts, I'm gonna have to do some landscaping over there, figure out where the drive's gonna be and whatnot. Parking area and so on. This one, this side. Because there's so many chickens in this pen, what is it, like 360, they produce eggs fairly quickly. I 
I just thought it'd be neat to put in one of those really huge chicken barn kind of things. Mr. Sealy P did it on Edgewater, but he overdid it. He did like, I don't know, five or six of them. They're <laughs> huge. If anything, the man is extreme sometimes. <laughs> I like to kind of keep it realistic-ish. 360 chickens in that little pan wasn't realistic-ish, but I do like getting eggs fairly frequently. go down and see if there's any uh, maple syrup down by the maple syrup production. I was going to say I noticed when I drove by that uh, southernmost field the other day. I was coming back. I was coming back from the store after having bought what? Oh, probably that field container. Um, I noticed there was a pile of stones in the field. I was going to go get that today, but now that there's snow, I guess I won't be doing that. I wonder if you can even see it. Let's drive down there. There is a pallet of maple syrup to move up there. Let's see. There's our new field container. An hour set up to accommodate more slurry than we're probably producing, but it's okay. Oh man, this just looks snow covered, that's all. There was, over towards this side, some stones, but I was going to come down here with the wheel loader and grab them and spread them in front of the uh, Quonset, but there they are. come down here and try and do it now I'm just gonna get snow in my bucket that's a pretty good sized pile too that might be like a full um, stone pickers worth that I just forgot about the winter in the game. Reminds me of winter. Growing up. I don't know if this will stick around long enough for us to uh, even have to worry about plowing it. doing business. I don't know, 
I should probably take it down in the winter time, but I don't know where the road is. <laughs> I don't know if this is it. I think it is. up at the clock as if I was 9.48. I'm like, wow, time's flying. Oh, that's right. I didn't come out of the house until 9 this morning. <laughs> it's not a ton of money, but I mean, for just water. <laughs> Something else to do. Alright, so... We're going to mix up some feed. Oh boy, we're going to need to get the case out. feed in here. I didn't realize that. I had them topped off the other day. And they've been eating on that since, so I don't know. Maybe we won't need to mix any up. And then I can check and uh, see how much milk is in here, too. That's all I got, so let's see. Check, see how much, uh, how they're doing then. So let's see, uh, oh, there is enough milk in here. And the food looks pretty good, but I kind of had in my mind we were going to mix up some, so we'll probably just do it anyway. Maybe bring some straw over too. Well, here, let's turn this off. Can I get to the... Oh, it's right there. I can move this.
was thinking I want to get I want to get here and hook up to that I don't Wiper. straw bells is it? Five I think. I still haven't moved that, have I? <laughs> I keep talking about how I want to move the uh, Baylor back further into the shed and I never get around to it. One. Oops. Two. Thousand liters of total mix ration. Oh, I'll go put that straw in with the uh, with the case. I wonder how 
much of this they'll take, if they'll take it all or not. They might take it all. Nope. <laughs> We'll have some left over for future opportunity to feed them. Check that. That's all right. I think I'm gonna firm back in. Grab the milk trailer. keep the farmed area operating because that butter is what we get like 2500 a pallet of butter or something like that for the bane of my existence. Backing the trailer. I guess if I just did it really, really slow, it still would work. <laughs> Right there, and not just because that's where it was. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. That. How long is it going to keep snowing? Let's check the weather here. Okay, so it's going to snow until this afternoon. It's going to warm up. It'll melt off, I think. Uh, it's snow through the rest of January and the beginning of February. I don't know. I think when it gets that warm, it might melt off. Because it always seems like there's never a ton of snow on this map. So it'll maybe snow in the morning and melt off in the afternoon. We'll see what happens. If it does melt off, we can maybe do that gravel work. But other than that... hard to do anything with the ground. Let's see, you gotta go the other way, right? It's hard to do anything with the ground when, when you got the snow on the ground as well. Because if you're using a shovel or anything, You'll get snow in it, and you can only have one fill type in at a time. Yeah. 
in FS19, when you left your trailers outside and uncovered, they would fill up with snow also. Well, not fill up, but they'd get snow in them. I thought that was cool. There's... all they took, huh? I don't know if I can get one of these bales or not. I can try. I don't know which control it is, though. It can't be that one. I'm going to have to pull up the help. Alright, let's see. Tipside straw blower. said than done. Which one was it? That one. <laughs> uh, I think I might get it. I think I might get it. some tools or some actions you don't do very frequently and it's hard to remember them. Um, oh, I gotta have it selected otherwise it doesn't want to blow. Yeah. Get some nice fresh bedding in there for the cows. Tweak this uh, slurry spreader. So we have to move this. it was something. Oh, I was going to mention, we haven't checked used equipment, but yesterday a plow came up. I was going to buy it because it was only about, I don't know, not very much. 
and uh, I ended up missing out on it. I think it was probably around five to six thousand dollars. We don't have a plow. We only have that subsoiler there. Uh, a plow will keep you from getting weeds. A subsoiler won't. It's a lot smaller and takes longer, but I don't know. I thought maybe it was something we could have used. behind the, it's behind the subsoiler. Subsoiler should be over on this side then. That was not smart. I'll have to move that when I get a chance sometime. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, ah. I want to go check on the uh, modernization at the mill. So we've got... Did I turn this on? I don't think I did. Let me turn the farm dairy on. What made me think of it when I was walking over here, I was going to check the stave silo and see what we had. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Meyer boss, the silage boss, over and sell whatever it'll hold. We got 150000 so this is half full of silage, which is good. I don't think we'll need that much, but I'm worried about selling a whole 80000 What did we put in when we did the... Uh, the mix probably about four four thousand yeah we could probably sell it a full trailer low but I'm hesitant to do so I want to drive this anyway I haven't been in it in a while This one's got the Detroit diesel engine in it. It's kind of a screamer. can't see. <laughs> this actually fills or holds quite a bit. check the price I checked it last night and it was like 340 for a thousand liters and the high was going to continue into January so let's see there we are silage oh man it's all the way up to 343 which is a new high in January what were we selling that for last month I 
shouldn't get too upset. It's like three dollars per thousand meters, so yeah, we're only talking hundreds of dollars, not much more than that. Hopefully, the roads aren't too treacherous. We'll try and keep it under control here. to get over to the the mill find out how they're coming because I want to start hauling stuff over there with it snowing I don't really want to mess with the flat bottom bins and the augers and everything I think all of our canola is at Rogers oh, okay I haven't driven this in a while. I don't know if that was the snow or the brakes. while we're over here too. Oh, wow. The grate, the pit's covered. I wonder if it'll work. Oh, whew. That was gonna be a bummer. Quick, 12,000. It's nice. Yeah, the problem is if we're going to process most of our crops at the mill, it means that we won't be making money selling them here in uh, January. I think we got the we got the soybeans. That'll be like June or something, right? Oh, yeah. Look at, this. Look at the snow on the... That's weird. It's, uh... Don't draw attention to it. <laughs> out on something else. I can't believe that uh, that plow disappeared too. It wasn't like it was the top line I think we keep going straight. It wasn't like the top of the line or the, like the first item in the list that went away. It was like between two other things and then it disappeared. The other two were still there. Surprising. But. Okay. Mill 
looks good. It, it blended in pretty good, I think. It's not perfect, but not a map maker. And I'm on console. It's not easy. This is my first time driving a truck through here. It's tight. It'll be alright. I think they're finishing up. Okay, I had a long talk with the uh, project manager. Everything's going real smooth. Should be able to uh, actually start doing the oil, which was the upgrade. Uh, a lot of the modernization that they did was to accommodate doing the oils. A lot of the machinery that they had to install was related to that. So uh, he thinks later this afternoon in this game day uh, that it should be operation. That they'll be done and they'll be out of here. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good 90000 uh, dollars that we spent uh, gave us great capability one of the nice things about this one as well is that what some of the crops when you're making flour you get a <clears throat> excuse me a byproduct of chaff so we could come over here unload the chaff into our silage boss and we could take it back to the farm put it in the stave silo uh, to ferment it into um, silage that we could use for the cows and this thing I can start feeding stones into this uh, rock crusher and make more lime it works pretty good this junk, this is all right. It can stay here. I'm interested to start using the racking in here with a forklift. Really need a forklift to come up on the used market. That <laughs> would be nice. I think there might be some safety items that they need to do around the uh, warehouse. But no, I think it's good. Got the fire extinguishers all replaced. Ensure that they're completely charged. Too bad there's not like a man door or another door on here though. Just the roll up. Well, it's lunchtime. I think I'll head back to the farm, grab something to eat. And we'll see if the snow melts off. Wait for call that this thing's up and operational. Maybe we can take the R700. We can borrow uh, Bill's pace setter. Do the uh, do the canola get it over here? I'll just go around the stone crusher. I'm turning radius. 
good. I made it. Okay, well, we finished up lunch. It's still snowing pretty good. I think it was supposed to stop around 2 o'clock. I don't know. Hopefully it'll melt off, but we'll see. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get Bill's truck back over to him. So first we're going to uh, do some maintenance on it. And then we will uh, fill it up with fuel. We'll take it back over to his house. So let's see what we got to do here. Uh, 473. That's not too bad. And then we'll... I don't know how much fuel I have left. Let's see if we can fill it up. The bar still moving. I can see. There we go. I put it on the shifter. Want it all the way up. Perfect. Oh, we're gonna we're 
we're going to get over to the mill hauling anything today or not. He said late afternoon too, so... Yeah. Maybe we'll save it for the next episode. I think the Lazard, the Jeep's over here. So we'll have something to drive back home. out here or not. I can see his truck. Maybe it's in the... Maybe it's inside. Hey, Bill. Oh, yeah. Got the truck in out of the cold, huh? Yeah. Well, what's going on? Not much. Yeah. Hey, I was wondering maybe I could borrow your pace setter when I'm going to haul my canola over to the mill. Yeah. No, I'll use my truck. Yeah, I'll probably use that R700. Okay. Alright. Hey, thanks, Bill. a bit of a snowstorm going on here. I think we'll probably have to call it a day. Hey, I want to thank you for hanging out with me here. Ohio Richlands, the Ohio Farm. Where the heck those snowmen go? <laughs> Kids knocked it down in a snowball fight, I guess. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, why not? Don't cost nothing. We'll see you next time.